we have to remember that you know we look at pictures of cells that are drawn or taken with microscopes and then we look at them in textbooks and stuff and they look flat they look small but you gotta remember it's actually a big three-dimensional volume there in that cell so you may get a signal over here that's interacting with a cell but it's got to somehow spread all throughout the cell receptor over here binds its ligand but it's over here on this side of the cell where the organelles that have to respond to that signal may reside so somehow the signals have to get not only from outside the cell in but then spread throughout the cell so all the different organelles can respond so what we see is what is referred to as signal propagation signal from outside gets in spreads throughout the cell cell response uh, there's going to be four steps to this okay four steps first step signal transduction that signal that's outside the cell has to get in so what do we see here signal ligand binds receptor okay the binding of the ligand to the receptor will somehow change the tertiary structure of that integral protein that is the receptor change the tertiary change the quaternary changing of the quaternary structure changes the shape of the receptor at least the portion of it that is in touching the cytoplasm second when it comes to the propagation of the signal especially if it's the kinases the receptor tyrosine kinases the two parts will dimerize two individual parts will come together form a dimer a dimer is two parts coming together to form one dimers trimers two three parts depending on however many there are depending upon the receptor signal transduction dimerization and then third step a signaling pathway remember we talked about signaling pathways a couple of chapters ago it's a series of enzymes a series of proteins that work in concert one after another initial substrate taken by the first enzyme twist tweak cut paste whatever makes a product turns out that product is the substrate for a second enzyme in the pathway makes a product that product substrate for the third and then the fourth and the fifth a series of steps hence pathway well the signaling pathway will take will I'm sorry will recognize the changed shape of the cytoplasmic portion of the receptor that is the beginning um, I tell students when it comes to this portion we're talking about this signaling pathways think dominoes okay each domino is a different enzyme in the pathway you, come on every little kids lined up dominoes you push over the first one boom 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 first step second step third step fourth step now if you're really good like I was it's not one domino after the next it's one will knock over two two knocks over four four knocks over and so on and so forth Ooh. well we see the same thing here for some of these pathways one enzyme makes enough substrate or will go and activate two or three of the next enzymes which will then go and activate two or three each and so on and so forth so instead of a series of substrate products substrate products it's now one enzyme passes on the phosphate that it stole from ATP to activate the next and then so on and so on and so on and this is what's re and then the signal fourth step is the signal integration cell response 
starts doing something, stops doing something. Um, and we'll talk more about that later.